it, it does feel very good to have a period drama back on our screens. And obviously there's lots of um, uh, people are saying, well, you know, it's the new Downton or it's the new Miss Selfridge. Is that a good thing for you or do you sort of not like those comparisons? I think it's an I think it's a it's a natural comparison to make. Um, but um, I think it feels very different to both of those those things. I think it's um, you know, obviously it's set in a in a different time period and it feels more fast paced, I think, yeah. than mm. Downton perhaps. I think, I think on paper when you look at it, it they can seem really similar, but mm. then when you actually watch the show, I think Things like Down to Miss Selfridge are great shows in their own right, and I think the house seems good as well. Well, setting, uh, setting it in a hotel, I mean, the scope is endless, mm. Mm -hmm. isn't it? I mean, yeah. there's a hot bed of intrigue, as it's been already. That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. I was surprised, uh, if I'm honest, that Lord Hamilton popped his clogs uh -huh. so yeah. quickly. We're all sad about that as well, because, yeah. Alex is such a lovely guy. He, he was actually super upset when he... Cause he, he was, he, must yeah. have been, he was in for about two weeks, yeah, I think, yeah. and he was he really sad that he had to go and... Because um, you'd have thought, really, with him, the dominating father, the yeah. Yeah. twins yeah. here, that there's yeah. so much more that yeah. we could have But I think so, so much of what the show's based around is sort of the aftermath of, of, of him dying and sort exactly. of we how the entire hotel is thrown completely yeah. into the balance and people's positions change completely. Mm. And so. Well, Hermione, let's talk about Emma, first of all, because mm. she's the daughter of the hotel manager and she's, she's in a difficult position because she's kind of been in between two worlds, really. I mean, she's yeah. grown up with Freddie. Yeah. There's definitely sort of a childhood friendship, very close bond that they had. Yes. Which, as we're seeing as the weeks are going by, is turning into something a little bit different. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, I think Emma's position, she is very much in the upstairs world and the downstairs world, so she's kind of bridging the gap between the two. And um, it's nice because, um, you know... Freddie and Ed's character were both, you know, they both are brothers to her. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. this kind of develops into more, which is, yeah. Taking over the hotel is such a big distraction and, and something that he just doesn't want to, um, want to deal with. So as the series kind of goes on, we see that struggle that he has between the war and his responsibilities at And home. then you've got Toby, mm. who... And the trouble with Toby, I mean, he's, uh, he's sort of rejected, isn't he? It's a bit, yeah. It's quite bitter. Yes, he is, especially when, when you join him at the beginning of the series. He's, um, he, he's very bitter and feels really hard done by because he's, he's the twin of Freddy and he's um, only four minutes younger, but because of that, he doesn't yeah, get any of the title so. or any of the money that he, he would maybe get from it, the inheritance when Lord Hamilton dies. And it's sort of... Yeah, and he's, he's, he's a very different character to Freddy because he's been living in his shadow the entire time. And so once their father dies, obviously it's then left with this dynamic between the two of them yeah. and mm -hmm. it didn't start off that great because there was a great big fight. The, the thing is also with Toby is that there are other complications in his life, aren't there? Yes, yeah, he's very... Um, well, he's a shy guy, he's not very sort of... He doesn't really know himself very well and he's... You know, he's, he's in a society that is, doesn't really accept him and doesn't really have a place for him. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.